Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is about an Emirati culture that dates back to its roots. First, we're going to look into one of the extinct species in UAE, wild camels. They are diurnal, sleeping at night in open spaces and foraging for food during the day. Shrubs and grass form the bulk of the diet, with the animals being well adapted to feed on thorns, dry vegetation and salty plants, which other herbivores avoid. Excess fat is stored in the humps and used as a reserve when food is scarce. The camels are migratory and their habitat ranges from rocky mountain masses to flat arid desert, stony plains and sand dunes. For about 10,000 years, wild camels were being hunted in UAE and some places around it. Archaeologists found evidences about this at places like Mlesa in the Bainuna area of western Abu Dhabi and in Al Safo in Dubai. They were probably hunted for their meat, their skin and their bones. This not only helped the people to hunt the animal but also helped people learn where the camels liked to graze, what they ate and how they behaved. This knowledge would have been very important when camels were domesticated some time later. The species has suffered a drastic reduction in its range. It now occurs only in three separated habitats in northwest China. Lake Lop, Takalbakan Desert and the ranges of Arjun Shan and one in the Transaltia Gobi Desert of Southwest Mongolia. Thanks to the efforts of the WCPF, the wild camel was listed by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature in 2002 as critically endangered. There are approximately 600 surviving in China and 450 in Mongolia. The majority of these shy animals live in the Gashan Gobi or Lop Noor desert in China and in the southwestern area of the Mongolian Gobi. This species has managed to survive in an area of the Gobi in China, the Gashan Gobi or Lop Noor, which was for 25 years a nuclear test site. They survived the effects of radiation from 43 atmospheric nuclear tests and is breeding naturally. In the absence of fresh water, it had also adapted to drinking salt water with a higher content of salt than seawater. The domestic Bactrian camels cannot drink salt water with this degree of salt. Research to this date does not show conclusively how the wild camels is absorbing and secreting the salt water. In China, young camels after suckling for two years can adapt to drinking salt water. It is this adaptability which enables them to survive in the Gashan Gobi. They can migrate over huge distances in pursuit of unreliable salt water sources and meagre grazing. They can survive extremes of temperature varying from minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 55 degrees Celsius. The WCP believes that the wild camel can yield up secrets which will be of great benefit to men. By 1000 BCE, it is certain that camels were domesticated in UAE. Though we do not know if they were domesticated in the UAE or were introduced from elsewhere in Arabia, it is clear that some of the earliest evidences of its presence is found in UAE. Camels as livestock, they provide food, milk and meat and textiles. They became working animals especially since they are suited to their desert habitat and are vital means of transport for passengers and cargo in the desert. There are two species of such camel, the one-humped dromedary camel and the two-humped Bactrian camel. The dromedary, also called the Somali camel or Arabian camel, is a large even toed ungulate with one hump on its back. Its scientific name is Camelus dromedarius. They are tall camels where adult males stand 1.8 to 2 meters at the shoulders, while females are 1.7 to 1.9 meters tall. The males typically weigh between 400 and 600 kg and the females weigh between 300 and 540 kg. And the hump is approximately 20 cm tall which is 7.9 inches. The species distinctive features include its long curved neck, narrow chest, a single hump and long hairs on the throat, shoulders and hump. The coat is generally a shade of brown. The hump is made of fat bound together by fibrous tissues. The Bactrian camel, also known as Mongolian camel, 
is a large even toed ungulate native to the steppes of Central Asia. Its scientific name is Camelus bactrianus. It has two humps on its back. Its population of 2 million exists mainly in the domesticated form. Their names come from the ancient historical region of Bactria. With its tolerance of cold, drought and high altitudes, it enabled the travel of caravans on the Silk Road. It is the largest mammal in its native range and is the largest living camel. Shoulder height is from 180 to 230 cm. Head and body length is 225 to 350 cm and the tail length is 35 to 55 cm. At the top of the humps, the average height is 213 cm which is 6.99 feet. The body mass can range from 300 to 1000 kg with males often being much larger and heavier than females. Its long woolly coat varies in color from dark brown to sandy beige. A mane and beard of long hair occurs in the neck and the throat. Pastoralism is a form of agriculture in which animals are raised and herded. In the past, pastoralism happened after certain types of animals are domesticated by people. People could raise and breed the animals and make use of them as resources for supplying food, textiles, transport and a form of wealth. People who keep animals in this way are called pastoralists. In the past, this kind of activity was often nomadic. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was informative for you all. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also hit that bell button for notifications.